gestational diabetes yeast infection and how to treat it. Hello there, how are you doing? If you've got diabetes, one of the most obvious symptoms if you're a man is to get some form of a yeast infection or a fungal infection in your genitals. Now I'm talking to you from experience here because I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes about three years, four years ago. Now, a quick diversion. I'm going to show you how to get rid of the diabetes, the fungal infection, very easily. But just as a quick aside, I was very busy. I've been working, you know, looking after other people's health for 25 years. And I completely just didn't even look at myself till one day I nearly collapsed and I was taken into hospital. And they said, my blood sugar was through the roof, my HbA1c was through the roof, and they said I would be on diabetes medication for life. And I'm telling you now, four months later, I was off diabetes medication. Metformin and glipicide, I'm off it. So if you want to know how to do that, there is a link below this video. Go to the main website and you will find, type in diabetes. You'll find out how I did it. But this video is about fungal infection in the groin. Men and women who have got diabetes tend to get a weakened immune system. So fungus will breed wherever it's dark and moist and where there's plenty of food. Dark, moist, warm, plenty of food. That's it. So obviously in here, there's plenty of food. You get it between your toes as well, sometimes under the arm. Now, I accept that, that what's happening is, is that your immune system has been weakened. We can boost your immune system up at a later date. Right now, you need to kill off the fungus. So, you've got two options. How do you kill off the fungus? If you go to the doctors, typical doctor or drugstore they will say oh yeah they'll use those magic two words no problem no problem uh, they'll give you a tube of cream like this and uh, we'll use this banana as an example here there is a banana being eaten by fungus they'll say we'll just put a bit of white cream on it massage it in that doesn't do anything it just kills off the fungus a little bit so the appearance, the, the, of the rash on your penis might go, the rash on your scrotum might go, the rash between your legs is a bit harder to get rid of. So what do you do? This stuff isn't strong enough. So it is a problem. So you go back to the doctors and you say, well, that, that uh, cream you didn't work, uh, you, you gave me didn't work. So again, they'll say, no problem, try this. And this is when they get the big guns out. It's almost always a drug ending in A-Z-O-L-E, Azole. Now these drugs are toxic. They will kill anything. That's why when you get this thing, it talks about damage to your liver, it talks about damage to your lungs and breathing, it talks about your blood count, it talks about just about every side effect you can think of, including death. There's one tablet in this box, one, because two tablets and three tablets and four tablets can really damage you. Anyway, they'll say, no problem, take one of these. So you take one of these, and to be fair, after about two weeks, you feel a lot better. Most of the rash is gone, and you think, that wasn't bad. About two weeks after that, it starts to come back. It starts to come back. Now you can go back to the doctors and start a vicious merry-go-round because you have weakened your immune system with this and it'll come back faster and faster and faster until you can't get rid of it. It doesn't matter if you take that, it won't work. You can't get rid of it. So what do you do? You kill the fungus without harming your immune system. Say that again. You kill the fungus without harming your immune system. So what I've developed years ago 
This was originally developed for men's yeast infection, jock itch, that type of thing. Very common for men and women to get yeast infections in the genitals. Very common. They can call it jock itch or vaginosis or candidiasis or yeast infection or thrush. There's a thousand words for this. It's just tiny little mushrooms growing on your lovely body, eating you alive. So you want to kill them, these little mushrooms, just a couple of drops of this plant extract. Well, there's four plant extracts in there. And you massage, you don't need, where's that tissue? Yeah, I'll wipe it on there. So, it's a nice, there's your penis being eaten by fungus. You put a couple of drops, and this worked for me, and it's worked for thousands of other people with diabetes. You put that on there. It kills the fungus on contact. So, it, it, on the end of the penis, along the shaft of the penis, the scrotum. Most common with men and women with diabetes is the rash is between the legs, in the groin area. Again, you just put a couple of drops on three times a day. Now normally, if you hadn't got diabetes, that stuff will get rid of it in three days. Three days is enough to get rid of a rash. But if you've got diabetes, it takes a little bit longer, okay? It depends how severe your diabetes is. But you can apply it to your penis, and you can normally you can go from this to this, a clean, fresh penis in three days. That's how it works. Having diabetes, it might take a little bit longer, it might take you a week. But what's happening is, you're only applying it where the fungus exists. So, if it exists between your legs, you apply it just in that area between your legs. What you don't want to do is weaken your immune system anymore. Okay? So, below this video is a link to my website. I've been doing this 25 years about tens of thousands of people with this problem. If this doesn't work for you, you will have your money back. That's how I know it will work. Urgent. So we send it to you. It's a discreet package. DSP. Diabetes skin problems. You massage it in. You massage that in. Just to work the fungus exists and nothing else okay you don't want to compromise your immune system anymore believe me i know i know what's needed to get rid of diabetes so get over to even if you don't buy this that's up to you you can live with a rash in your groin can't you you can live with that living with diabetes is harder i know what it's like to be dizzy i know what it's like to want to kill myself i'm so fed up with it i know but I also know how to get rid of it. Three simple things you need to do. Get over to my website. By all means, try the DSP. DSP gets rid of your groin rash, your vaginitis, your candidiasis. Call it whatever you want. But let's help you get rid of diabetes as well, eh? Because it can be done. You only need to do three simple things, but that's not on this video. So first things first, get that sorted. And then, if you want to know, get on my website, find out about how I got rid of diabetes, how loads of other people have got rid of diabetes, and you don't have to buy anything off me. By all means, you can do. But on my website, I tell you how to make that yourself, if you wish. I also tell you how to make a blend of herbs or spices which will stimulate your pancreas, stimulate your body, so you'll get rid of type 2 diabetes, and I do know of two women who have had type 1 diabetes who are now no longer type 1. I'm not saying it was exactly due to me, but... So there's lots of information to share with you on the website, okay? So there's the link below the video for this. Excuse me. And if you do get this, I'll send you, I'll send, send you the information for the three other things you need to do to get rid of diabetes. All right then. And any questions, either give me a ring or send me an email. And it's, it's all there on the website. Okay. Thanks for watching. You do me a favour if you subscribe. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.